Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to the early trades here on Calpine TV. Today, the S&P ASX 200 was up, gaining 89.5 points, or 1.53% in the first trading hours. The top performing stocks in this index were cloud management company Megaport, which is up over 30%, and the online sports betting company PointsBet up as well, 7.5%. Over the past five days, the index has gained around 1.7%, but is still down 9.48 for the year-to-date period. And today, 10 of 11 sectors were higher, along with the S&P ASX 200 index, from which utilities was the best performer, getting 0.7% today and 3.1% for the past five days. Now, look at some stocks making a buzz today in the opening session. One of the world's largest developers and operators of private toll roads, Atlas Arteria announced its toll revenue and traffic statistics for the June quarter. The weighted average traffic was 21% higher and weighted average toll revenue was up 18%, which resulted in continued strong traffic performance at its APRR toll group throughout the quarter. The company currently owns a 31% interest in France's APRR toll road group and toll revenue for the second quarter in 2022 was 18% higher than the prior year. Plus, traffic at the Jules Greenway, a 22-kilometer toll road near Washington, D.C., was up 7.2% from the same period last year. Moving on, BKI Investment Company announced the group's results for the 30th of June. The business witnessed an increase of 36, or rather 63 percent, in operating results after tax, excluding special dividends of $58 million, and a rise of 175 percent in net profit after tax, and including special dividends, $100 million. BKA recorded a 58 percent increase in ordinary revenue from its investment portfolio, and its special investment revenue was significantly higher as well. The company's financial year 2022 basic earnings per share, including special investment revenue, increased 173% to 13.6 cents a share from 4.97. The BKO board has declared a final ordinary dividend of 3.65 cents per share and a final special dividend of 1 cent per share. Both dividends will be fully franked and the total paid for the financial year 22 around 8.65 cents per share, which is up 73% from last year. Then finally, the gambling and entertainment company at the Star Entertainment Group today announced the appointment of Scott Wharton as Chief Executive Officer of the Star Sydney Group and Group Head of Transformation. Wharton joins the Star from Commonwealth Bank Australia, where he was a member of executive leadership team as group executive for its program delivery segment. The newly appointed CEO will report to the Star Entertainment Group's incoming CEO and Managing Director, Robbie Cook. And as the ASX started trading in the green territory this morning, there were a few top gainers from the opening session today, including Megaport up by 28%, PointsBet up by 7.57%, and then Investment Manager Magellan Financial Group up as well 4.63%. On the flip side, though, the stocks bleeding in red included gold miner Perseus Mining, which is down 2.4%, Northern Star Resources down as well at 1.92%, and then the global investment manager Pendle Group has slid at 1.58. And that is a wrap for this edition of the Early Trades. Stay tuned for more live shows coming up today on Calcine TV. I'm Holly Shields signing off.